I think of this ensemble as a forum for exchange and learning. Obviously, we're studying the music through performance, but through that we're also studying various aspects of history. Uh, every piece or every style of music that we play has a biography, um, ha has a composer, maybe it's popular music, maybe it's music for dance, maybe it's folk music. Then if you add sort of a, um, a living, breathing muse uh, musician or composer to that recipe, um, all of a sudden you've put this face on a culture. Is, you know, we say music is a universal language, but of course it isn't because someone has to teach us how to listen to a particular kind of music, whether it's why did Adele win the Grammys, why are people crazy about her, or how do we listen to South African music, or how do we come to love um, sacred harp singing. Someone usually has to teach us how to listen to a music, what the, what the people from within that culture think is really good about that music. I think that the the fact that people are, are being asked to collaborate with one another and learn from one another is very powerful and there's nothing you can do to simulate that. You can't, no matter how much I tell them or have them read or listen to, there's nothing like actually interacting with people. we'll have uh, people from the culture who say, wow, look at this, the College of William and Mary is playing my music. Um, and that can be an incredible source of pride. I get, I get music making out of it and I, I get uh, new knowledge. I mean, I've learned a huge amount of repertoire from this, uh, from this ensemble and from Anne. Um, but I, it's, it's mainly sheer delight and, and also keeping up my chops a little bit. And you, you gotta work. Sometimes uh, you're learning an entirely new instrument, you're learning a new tuning system, new rhythms. Um, the reason we sound good is because we work hard. Inshallah, as they say. Yeah.